Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time. Um, yeah, hello, how are you all doing? I'm doing great. Um, yeah, welcome back to my channel. Here is another Plan With Me video. Today we'll be setting up my May monthly bullet journal setup. I know it has been a while. Hopefully you guys are still around and watching these. But let's just get right to the video, starting with the supplies I will be using today to create this spread. So as you can see, it will come up on the screen as- okay, good. I'm using a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen with the hard tip for outlining and a Zebra Mild Liner in this teal color for most of the colors. You'll see a red one later. They came from the same pack and my trusty Tsuki bullet journal. Um, yeah, let's get started with the video. So um, this month I am doing a ocean sunfish theme. If you don't know what the ocean sunfish is, it's kind of a meme, but it's also just a great, it's just a, it's pretty interesting. It's this massive, massive, like bony fish. Honestly, I should have prepared some sort of like spiel for this, but the ocean sunfish with scientific name Mola Mola, which is like really cute for one, it is the, one of the two heaviest known bony fishes in the world. That's right. I'm reading right off of Wikipedia and Actually, okay, the sunfish is the largest bony fish in the world, so there's an ocean sunfish and a southern sunfish. Anyway, they weigh up to a thousand kilograms, which is huge, and they live in tropical and temperate waters, and they're this, basically this big, flat disc of a fish. Um, I, I don't know if you've seen, there's like, there's like pictures of these. They're not as cute as the drawings that you will see. Honestly, they're a little bit ugly, but in like a Oh, so ugly kind of way. Um, I'm trying to remember what fun facts there are. They like to come up to the surface and lie on their side so that they can warm up in the sun. And I'm pretty sure like seals or dolphins or something like slap them around. It's kind of sad for the sunfish. But anyway, the sunfish is a good time. Great to learn about. I suggest you read it. Maybe I'll just drop the Wikipedia link in the description because today we're learning something. Um, yeah, ocean sunfish. I think they're cute to draw and I have a few in Animal Crossing. They're really fun. They're really cute in Animal Crossing. No, they're not that cute in Animal Crossing. I don't know what I'm talking about. But these here, when I drew them, I really liked how they turned out. So yeah, today we're doing a pretty simple blue and red kind of ocean theme. It's been a while since I've touched my bullet journal since, okay, so the last video you guys saw from me was basically in February with my Lunar New Year themed monthly setup. Since then, I haven't posted a single one, even though I have literally like three videos worth of footage that I just never got around to editing. So, okay, maybe I should explain myself. I went on a quick, okay, not a quick, like a one and a half month break from basically all of my Lexi's desk accounts or whatever. I stopped posting on Instagram for a while because school was getting really busy and honestly bullet journaling felt like kind of a chore. Like I wasn't feeling very inspired. But now, see jokes on you, now, now I am very inspired and that is why I'm, I have returned with a new video for you. Um, yeah, so I took like a pretty long break, didn't post anything, just took some time to not use my bullet journal in that time. I did, my life pretty much fell apart in the sense that I was just using like two post-it notes to keep all of my tasks together and was basically just trying to make it through final season with that. It worked, but in a very stressful way and I would not recommend. Um, yeah, because I think bullet journaling and actually it was more like posting on Instagram and just constantly creating content was just very exhausting and I didn't realize I was burnt out until I actually went on that break and then when I came back or after like three days I was like oh my gosh this is this is an amazing feeling to not feel obligated to post or whatever so highly recommend taking a break from things if you ever find yourself feeling burnt out if you can like even just a few days can help and also like um, I don't know, my creative muscles or whatever were just very like tired. I just couldn't come up with new ideas. It was getting more and more difficult to come up with like fresh stuff. So I just stopped for a while and now I'm back at it. So, um, I don't know, life updates from my time 
of being radio silent. Man, I really just jumped into this voiceover without much of a, a plan. But life updates, I have finished my third year of university, which I think is pretty cool, kind of an accomplishment. I bought myself a keyboard as a um, reward. Um, you'll see a keyboard in this video. I will have a new one, hopefully within the next six weeks or something, because it is taking a long time to arrive. But, I, you know, I just... <laughs> Final season was hard. Retail therapy was effective. I don't know what to say. That was not... Don't be like me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got through my third year of university. Um, I don't really know what else is new. Oh, I binge watched or and binge read all of Demon Slayer. Please talk to me about Demon Slayer. Except don't put like spoiler warning in the comments or whatever if you say something. But anyway, I cried at the end of the manga because it was really good. I read it again and it made me tear up again because it was it was just it made me feel things. Uh, more things that I watched. I also finished, I guess, the last season of Attack on Titan. I, oh, I finished Attack on Titan because the, the manga ended. That also made me cry. Um, I <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't talk about crying so much. But on that note, I also watched Your Lie in April for like the first time. I didn't watch it in April though, unfortunate. Bad timing, but I watched it in May. But I also cried at the end of that. So anyway... Please talk to me about these animes and mangas because my heart can't take it anymore. Um, <laughs> let's see. Think Next on my watch list though, probably Jujutsu Kaisen and then probably Love is War, one of the two. Probably Jujutsu Kaisen because I want to watch it before the Uniqlo collection drops so that I can figure out who my favorite character is and then buy their respective shirt because... Every day I live in regret that I didn't watch, I didn't jump on the Demon Slayer hype train before the Uniqlo collab. So now I just have to live the rest of my life knowing that I missed that collab. Um, it's one of my deepest regrets. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. But this is, I did not, wow, I didn't plan for this. Okay, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. But this is a fairly straightforward um I don't know, you can see what I'm doing and I find that describing what I'm doing is just not as fun. <laughs> so, I hope you're enjoying this. But I really like how this monthly spread is turning out so far. Part of me feels kind of bad for skipping the entirety of April in my journal. I left like one spread blank because I put my like chaotic post-it notes from April in there as kind of like a placeholder and a reminder of how busy it was. Um, but hopefully from here on out, I will continue until I would need another break again, which I'm sure there will be. But it, it feels kind of bad to like, you know, miss bullet journaling. Like this is the first time I've ever taken a month off. So basically from like July, 2017 up until Ma March, 2021, I had, a, I had a straight like streak of bullet journaling and then I broke it. But you know what? That's okay because taking breaks is healthy. I highly encourage you to do that if you need to and even if you like don't think you need to because I didn't think I need to um you'll you'll be like oh this is not that bad like you'll enjoy it anyway so breaks are good TLDR breaks are good yeah oh I'm adding this like water effect to, to fill like space it's inspired by anime water I've become just a huge weeb weeb degenerate if you will I don't know um in not even in the months that I was gone just throughout this whole like pandemic thing um weeb degenerate if you will so everything now from here on out will just be like anime inspired I don't even I've been drawing like anime stickers this whole time um <laughs> pretty much that's that's what I've my entire personality has become um yeah I don't mind but yeah, I enjoyed what this, making the spread was really nice. I used, I had a water themed spread, like a similar spread from March 2020. Maybe I'll put it up. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't put it up. Ding! There. I, hopefully in post I will throw that in there. Um, but it was very similar, like, it's water, same color scheme. Look at me recycling old ideas, but refreshing them like a little bit better. So, yeah. 
Excellent. Um, yeah, so hopefully this month I, or hopefully for the rest of the year, I'll be posting a bit more YouTube. I have a lot of sticker designs on the way. I know I say that all the time, but I swear it's actually in the works this time and I actually have time to do it now because it's summertime for me because I'm a university student and I don't have school in, no, that was <laughs> poor wording. Because I'm a university student, my summer break starts in May. Um, other life updates. I am starting a new job research internship thing soon, which is kind of cool. I'm very excited. It is my first like somewhat real job in the industry that I am, or in the field that I actually study because all my other jobs are not as related. And I'm very excited. I start like on like Monday or something. I can't really tell you much more because that would be revealing personal information, but very exciting, very cool. Um, more exciting news, I should be getting, booking my vaccine appointment soon because Canadian vaccine rollout is finally getting around to young people such as myself, who is a ripe old age of 20, soon to be 21. Aging, terrifying. Um, I have a feeling that this voiceover is not a, very different from my previous ones, and I hope that that's okay, but it's fine. Um, yeah, as usual, we're doing the some lines a day spread. If you've been watching my videos before, I used to have a meal tracker slash like an exercise tracker. I just scrapped that because I am, it's summertime, I don't think about it as much, and honestly, like I just, it, I'm not being like unhealthy, I just don't want to write down the things that I eat all the time because I always forget to fill it out. So a lesson I've learned is don't incorporate trackers that you can't keep up with, you'll end up just wasting space and time. So you know, back to just the some lines a day tracker. And since this is a few months late, I can actually tell you I've already missed a few days of it, but that's okay. Um, yeah, this is about it for the finished spread. I really hope you guys liked it. I really liked how it turned out, actually. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments if there are any themes or stuff that you'd like to see. Please check out my Instagram, Etsy, TikTok, all at Lexi's desk. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.